I know a really good game for big children. It's called Sly Fox. Sly Fox? I want to play Sly Fox. What is it? One person is the Sly Fox and the others creep up on them. Me, me! I want to be the Sly Fox. Pepper <laughs> is the Sly Fox. While her back is turned, the others creep up on her. But if Pepper turns and sees someone move, they have to go back to the start. George, I saw you move. Back to the start. <laughs> Got you. I win. You moved before I was ready. The rules say I can move when I like, don't they, George? <laughs> now it's Chloe's turn to be the sly fox. Pepper and George must stay very still. <laughs> Pepper, I saw you move. Back to the start. It's not fair. You look too long. The rules say I can look as long as I want. Back to the start. <laughs> George is the winner. <laughs> Me, can we help make the pancakes, please? <laughs> yes, you can help me make the batter. First, I put some flour in the bowl. Ooh. Now I add an egg. Now the milk. And I give it all a stir. Mummy, can I stir? Yes, of course, Peppa. Peppa loves stirring. George wants to stir as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, George, like this. <laughs> OK, that's enough stirring. You two sit at the table while I cook the pancakes. Mummy Pig is going to flip the pancake over. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You can show us how when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. This first pancake is for George. Mummy Pig pours a little syrup on George's pancake. <laughs> Delicious. This pancake is for Pepper. Hooray! <laughs> mm, you could flip it higher, Mummy Pig. You will get a chance to show me when you flip your own pancake, Daddy Pig. Syrup, please. Mmm, delicious. <laughs> To prune it, start by lopping off the head and then snip away the budding shoots. Granny Pig? Pepper? George? You should be in bed asleep. George and I aren't sleepy at all. <coughs> Can we watch TV with you? Well, I suppose watching a little TV might make you sleepy. Hooray! <laughs> Icelandic roses are a rare treat for the discerning horticulturalist but they are prone to lobbing in temperate habitats. Ooh, this programme is very boring. Ooh. Grandpa Pig, can you play that game where he throws up and catches? OK, but just one turn each. <laughs> Whee! Oh, oh. oh, you seem heavier than before. <laughs> now it's George's turn. Whee! <laughs> My turn! Whee! <laughs> higher, higher! Whee! Maybe Grandpa Pig is a bit tired. I know! <laughs> Granny Pig, let's play catch. Uh... <laughs> You're it! Catch us if you can! <laughs> Come on, catch me! I'm going to catch you! <laughs> 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 Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are back home. I hope our little piggies are asleep. Hello? Anyone here? <laughs> the little piggies are asleep, and so are the big piggies. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make Peppa and George finger puppets. 
First of all, we're going to cut the sticker just under the waist. And we're going to put the George Pig sticker on a blue card. Peel it off. And stick it up the top. Now, we're going to cut, cut, cut. Careful. Cut around, leaving room below the sticker for your finger holes. Oh, careful, George. Then you need an adult to help cut the finger holes out with a craft knife. Use Play-Doh underneath. That'll help with the safety. One little finger hole. <laughs> Two finger holes. Look, a George Pig finger puppet. <laughs> we stuck some little football boots on our fingers to make them look the part. Wee! <laughs> Catch the ball, George! Oh, over here! Over here! Pepper and George, finger puppets. <laughs> How cool! Hey, kids! Today we're going to read a story. Peppa plays football. It's a sunny day and Peppa Pig and Susie Sheep are playing tennis. To you Susie, cheers Peppa, hitting the ball. Now it's Susie's turn. To you Peppa, she cries, hitting the ball straight over Peppa's head. Oh dear. Mwah. George feels a bit left out. Sorry, George, says Peppa. You can't play tennis. We only have two rackets. George can be the ball boy, cheers Susie. Being a ball boy is a very important job, George, says Peppa. Peppa and Susie are having lots of fun, but they keep missing the ball. Ball boy, they shout together. Puff, puff. George is not having fun. He keeps running to get the ball and he's very tired. Hello everyone, cries Peppa when her friends arrive. We're playing tennis. Can we play too? asks Danny Dog. There aren't enough rackets, replies Susie Sheep. Let's play football then, says Danny Dog. Football, hooray! Everyone cheers. We can play girls against boys, says Peppa. Each team needs a goalkeeper, says Danny Dog. Me, me, shouts Pedro Pony. Me, me, cries Rebecca Rabbit. Pedro Pony and Rebecca Rabbit decide to be the goalkeepers. The boys team will start, says Danny Dog. Richard Rabbit gets the ball and runs very fast. Right by Peppa Pig, Susie Sheep and Candy Cat. And straight up to the... Goal! cried Danny and Pedro together as Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight past Rebecca Rabbit and into the net. The boy is a winner, cheers Danny Dog. That's not fair, we weren't ready, moans Peppa. Rebecca Rabbit picks up the ball and runs. Hey! shouts Danny Dog. That's cheating! You can't hold the ball. Yes, I can, says Rebecca. I'm the goalkeeper. Rebecca throws the ball into the goal, straight past Pedro Pony. Goal! She cries. That goal is not allowed, says Pedro. Yes, it is, says Peppa. No, it isn't, barks Danny. What a lot of noise, snorts Daddy Pig. I'll be the referee. The next team to get a goal will win the game. Richard Rabbit and George run off with the football while everyone is still talking. 
Where's the ball? asked Peppa. But it's too late. Richard Rabbit kicks the ball straight into the goal. Pass Pedro Pony. Hooray! The boys win! cries Danny. Football is a silly game, sighs Peppa, disappointed. Just a moment, says Daddy Pig. The boys score in their own goal. That means the girls win. Really? gasp all the girls. Hooray! Football is a great game, cheers Peppa. <laughs> Everyone laughs.